What's good? What's good? Welcome to the Epic Entertainment Critics. I'm Antoine. And I'm still James. And we are doing some trailer reactions. We are reacting and discussing, excuse me, um, the newest Nicolas Cage movie called Prisoners of the Ghost Land. Now, I've been kind of done with Nicolas Cage as far as like big movies. I know he's been doing a lot of small movies like Pig. I don't know if you heard of that, but... I've heard amazingly disturbing things. Yeah, and so I've been kind of like done, like kind of like reacting to it. Cause it but I think this is going to be kind of big. Mm. Not sure. But um, it popped up, and I was like, man, I'm going to go ahead and do a reaction for it. Uh, not sure exactly what it's about, and I'm not sure if it's based on another property, because what I read, like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like that, huh? So, okay, so let's watch this trailer, and then we're going to have a little discussion about what we just saw. So without further ado... Prisoners of the Ghost Land, whatever that means. <laughs> Let's get it. My granddaughter has been lost to us. I would have her return to me post haste. And you, sir, I am told, are the man to do the job. Each arm is equipped with an explosive device. Your trousers are also equipped with explosives. Oh. <laughs> really? Just beyond the point where we now stand lies a highway where evil reigns. What is this? At the end of five days, if you have not returned with Benice, well, I think you get the idea, son. Godspeed. This is the ghost land, a land of no escape. We are not the ones who hold her captive. It's been two um, days, and there? still she is be, uh, missing. Tally. I think I'm not so clear for Tally. <laughs> you must surrender to fate. Okay, so I know I just watched the trailer, but what's this movie about? <laughs> that look, that outfit, dude, what the hell does he got on? Does he have to put that on him? <laughs> like I said, that is the most Nicolas Cage outfit I've ever seen. Right. But see, look, first it started off kind of like a, like a sci-fi western, then it turned into a samurai. Like, what are we... What's the identity here? <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. But did they say correct. the makers of um, creators of Battle Royale? I thought I saw that. You might have. Uh, like the setting, it kind of reminds me of like uh, Afro Samurai, where it's like sort of post apocalyptic, right, sort of. But sci fi mixed in there. Well, there's some sci fi in Afro Samurai, too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, so it's like that Samurai Western sci fi. If you're fusion. a fan of the bold and outrageous. <laughs> Yeah, you might be right on the money. It might be like in the vein of that, yeah. where it's it's like a period piece, but then it's uh, they throw like yeah. in South Summer, right? They make it look like it's feudal Japan, but then people whip out a cell phone. It's like what what yeah. what the hell? Because <laughs> um, like if I had to, oh god, I can't remember what it was called. There was a concept album that came out, and then that outfit. <laughs> so later on, if I could find some. He he's he's got the he still got that outfit on, but he's had like a helmet on with it. I'm like, what the what look at this. Yeah. What does he what does he got on now? I, is that to fight with? So he just got more armor? Uh, he's got some some other armor. Helmet. Hey, 
Like, if I had to say something to it, like this reminds me, I don't know if you ever heard it, but Sergio uh, Stimson, uh-huh. it was, uh, put out an album <coughs> called Sound and Fury that has, like, and they did videos for it to go with it uh-huh. that look like this. Yeah, it looks like a crazy video. <laughs> yeah. I got a problem, though, okay? You know, I, I like some Nick Cage. Yeah. You know, not for all the right reasons, but <laughs> I do like some Nick Cage. <laughs> But when I'm looking at this, we got a little, <clears throat> my problems are <laughs> they got the Japanese culture insert yeah. the white guy that's the hero. I'm looking like, uh, I thought we kind of got out of that. <laughs> like he's, he's also like the vicious savage who they've they've brought out of his cage to solve their problems. And yeah, like, well, I mean, like you've got this rich boss hog looking dude. Right, I know that's what I'm about to say. Colonel Sanders, yeah. boss hog, everything cliche looking. But like, <laughs> like, how do you look like boss hog, but your whole estate is like an is like a Japanese mansion? From right, Diego or here. maybe that's where that's not his place. That's just where the girls being held, I guess. Look, homeboy got a lot of geisha looking women. So like, it it looks know. like right, right, right. Maybe this is supposed to be in uh, no, no, it's not in eighteen hundreds because he got cars. But maybe this is supposed to, like you said, right, post apocalypse and kind of like uh, what's the anime? Um, 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 Faster Stampede. Oh, uh, Trigun. Trigun. I don't know why I forgot. I'm an anime guy, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like Trigun, where it's you know uh, got yeah. some futuristic stuff, but then it also got it's basically a western setting, but it's yeah. still. In this time, a modern time with everything Western, yeah. which is cool. It looks like don't take this serious. Just kind of have yeah. fun with it. Because like one of the weaknesses of some of a project like this is everything's been chosen for aesthetic reasons. Nothing is in here because it's what the story calls. <laughs> Jesus. Like dude even had to call it out himself. Like was that really necessary? why it gotta be right where his boss is at? Though? <laughs> like like any really, man? that'll do him damage in that area will kill him. Uh, but he got one on his neck. <laughs> you know what I'm just saying? It's like, it, it, you even got one on your balls. <laughs> yeah, it's like, from the top down, you were good. You were good. Like, wasn't Color Out of Space basically like a concept album as well? Like, the way it was directed and whatnot? Like, I'm not sure. And this thing right here looks cheap. It's got a happy yeah. face on it. I didn't notice that. So, oh, so those are all the explosives. Well, no, that's the countdown. He's got five days. Oh, why he only got three? <laughs> <laughs> Did he uh, waste two? Well, at the time that he's checking that, I Maybe think that's it's, later in the movie, yeah. so he's only got two okay. days. Uh, <laughs> he's spent up two of his days. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Like, th- look at this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> like, so it's got a uh, Sophia Patella, right? Is that her name? I think that's her the, name. She's yeah. in a mummy. She's yeah. in hit um, uh, Secret Service. Kingsman. Kingsman. Yeah. Um, so they they got some names in there. It ain't just because you know niggas Cage had kind of fell into Is that Post Malone. I wouldn't be surprised. He been popping up and stuff. That or Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> he he he'll he, play he, whatever he, he too. Do this he do this. He'd play whatever too. Just just put me in front of a camera, please. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, I I like I don't have any confidence in this being a successful venture. I can't say it won't do what it intends to because I have no clue what that is. Right. It, it might just be delivers. <laughs> it might just be a dumb action movie. And I'm sh- if nothing else, it'll be better than jujitsu. I haven't. You know, I didn't really watch that. Was it? You didn't. Did, you didn't like that. It was just ew. okay. <laughs> well, I, mean, I wasn't. You know, the worst thing about that movie is that Nicolas Cage isn't the worst thing about that movie. <laughs> That's um, the problem. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I I imagine this will be a more enjoyable watch than that. So, <laughs> and Nicholas Cage movie. even says this is the wildest movie he's ever made. Yeah, and he's made some. And we talking about Nick Cage. Yeah, he made the Willy Wonderland movie. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> it looks it looks like gonna be fun. It I'm gonna looks, find out when it come out. That that's all I can say about this movie is it looks. Let's see when it. Let's see today. Will they say when it drops? Uh, no, they didn't say. But hey, when it comes out, you will get a review from us. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Hopefully, sooner rather than oh, later. Uh, it says it comes out at the end of the month, but that's in Australia, so I don't know if that's streaming mm-hmm. as well. Right. Yeah. 
I can't see myself going to movies to see this, but I'll try to find it wherever I can. <laughs> September 17th is what I'm seeing here. Ah. So, you'll get a review from us for this. Yeah. Hopefully. I mean, <laughs> why not? <laughs> but, yeah, that is Prisoners of the Ghost Land. Looks crazy. Looks like it's going to be fun. Um, if anything, oh, what's that drive angry? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like that. Like. It, which which scares me because Drive Angry shouldn't have been as wild and crazy as it was, except it turned out to be a Nick Cage movie. Yeah, like so this <laughs> this is gonna be the same thing. It's like so we haven't seen the craziest things in this movie yet. Yeah, right, right. Drive is probably the sequel to Drive Angry. Is that the, <laughs> that could be the same character. You know what? <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah. So uh, that's how we, of course, prequels for Ghost Rider. Are they? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So that is our uh, trailer reaction for Prisoners of Ghostland. Uh, if you uh, like our videos, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can get alerts anytime we post new videos or we live stream. And don't forget, if you like what you're seeing here today, go ahead and hit that thumbs up over there. Let YouTube and us know that we're doing so something right. And drop a comment down below. What the what's what do you think will happen in this oh. movie? Just give me a theoretical yeah. Nick Cage scene <laughs> that you think will fit into this movie. Yeah, yeah, that's I, I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea what, what's <laughs> like, going to happen. I can't figure out what I might see in this movie. So I want to know what the, the folks at home got. Yeah. To. All right, y'all. We out there. Peace. Peace.